A particle can slide along a track with elevated ends and the flat central part is shown in the figure which is shown below. The flat part has length capital L. The curved portions of the track are frictionless. So these are frictionless. But for the flat part, the coefficient of kinetic friction mu sub k is 0 0.2. The particle is released from rest at point A, which is at height H equals capital L over 2. How far from the left edge of the flat part, that is here, does the particle finally stop? So it will stop somewhere in the middle. Okay, so first of all, let's remember what happens when we have friction in a system so with friction, since friction force is a non-conservative force, there will be a change in the total mechanical energy of the system, which is the work done by friction minus Fk times dx, because the friction is always in the opposite direction uh, with respect to the motion. It's going to be minus Fk uh, delta x, uh, where for delta x we have a maximum possible value delta x maximum is L. So it's possible that the particle uh, will be subject to friction here and then it will rise to a smaller height uh, on this end and then it will come back and rise to a smaller height, etc. So uh, that's the main uh, point of this problem. So uh, for the particle uh, to stop, It must have lost all of um, its kinetic energy. And since the particle started from uh, zero speed, so final kinetic energy will be zero. Initial kinetic energy was already zero because it is released from rest. Okay. The initial potential energy, as you can see here, is basically mgh. M is the mass of the particle, mgh. And final potential energy, let's say that the particle makes it to the other side and it goes uh, up a distance uh, h prime then the final potential energy will be mg h prime so let's uh, see what this equation tells us the amount of change in the mechanical energy of the particle which is final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy plus final potential energy minus initial potential energy is going to be equal to zero minus zero plus mgh prime minus mgh final potential energy minus initial potential energy which is equal to minus fk times l if it makes it all the way to the other side uh, so the uh, kinetic friction force if you remember is equal to mu k times the normal force which will be equal to uh, 0 0.2 mg okay so if we substitute here uh, for the potential energy final potential energy mgh prime initial potential energy mgh which was l over 2 mg l over 2 this is equal to minus 0 0.2 mgl because friction is a non-conservative force the work done by friction is always negative, it's reducing the mechanical energy of the system. And from this equation, we have cancellation of mg's. And what do we find? Uh, h prime is equal to 0 0.3 L. So in the first run, it's going to rise to h prime equals 0 0.3 L. All right. So what happened here is that the particle 
uh, entered this region with friction and made it all the way to the other side, lost some of its mechanical energy and rises to instead of 0.5 L, uh, 0.3 L. Now let's continue from uh, this position where it had a final kinetic energy of zero. It stopped. Now it's going to slide back into this region with friction. Now we have initial potential energy equals mg 0.3 L final potential energy equals mg h double prime and the change in kinetic energy will be zero again because we start with zero velocity and final velocity will be zero so we do the same thing change in the mechanical energy should be equal to u final mg h double prime minus u initial 0.3 mg l this is equal to minus 0.2 mgl, the work done by friction. So this equation tells us that we have a final height h double prime on the left side of 0.1l. So in the second run, again, the particle will rise to h double prime, which is equal to 0.1l. So the particle slides here, goes up to 0.3 L, comes back, rises up to 0.1 L. And then now we have initial potential energy of mg 0.1 L and final potential energy mg h triple prime, let's say, and delta k is equal to zero. So if I calculate the change in the mechanical energy delta e mechanical mgh triple prime minus 0.1 mgl equals minus 0.2 mgl i will find that h triple prime will be negative okay so what does that mean so i have to uh, modify this equation in the third run uh, it does not rise above the flat surface. Okay, so it will stop somewhere in the uh, in between the two ends. So therefore, uh, we can write the final potential energy will be zero. So it will be on the uh, flat surface, the delta E mechanical will be equal to final potential energy 0, initial potential energy 0 0.1 mgl, which is equal to minus 0 0.2 mg times delta x. And this equation gives us delta x is equal to um, Let's see, uh, 0 0.1 mg, so mg's will cancel. Uh, 0 0.1 over 0 0.2 L, which is capital L over 2. So what is this final answer then? The particle after two runs in the third run will stop right in the middle. Since it was asking me the distance from the uh, left edge of the flat part, well, it will be this distance L over 2, so it will stop right in the middle. Okay, so in this problem, <clears throat> we have a situation where we have uh, friction in a system uh, that is uh, basically dissipating some mechanical energy as the particle uh, runs over the region with the friction. And the change in the mechanical energy is minus Fk times delta x. Why? Because the dot product of friction force with the displacement is always going to give us a minus sign because the friction force is opposing the motion. And delta x maximum is equal to L. So first, uh, 
we can start with saying we have MGH initial potential energy and MGH prime final potential energy. So it, it will lose some of its mechanical energy here, but it will rise to a different height, less than the original height in the first run. And indeed, that the numbers tell us that that is the case. H prime is 0.3L and the friction force is mu K times the normal force, which is mu K mg 0.2 mg. So when the particle is here, the normal force is equal to mg because there is no motion uh, on, the, on this axis. Okay, so starting from 0.3L, we do the same thing, we reach 0.1L. Starting from 0.1L, we see that this equation doesn't apply, that implies H triple prime is negative, so it, it doesn't work, so therefore we can uh, modify this equation and say that the final potential energy will be zero, it will stop somewhere in the uh, flat surface, and where is that region? what is the location of the uh, particle when it stops and this equation tells us that uh, final potential energy minus initial potential energy equals minus fk delta x delta x is l over 2 so the particle will stop right in the middle